To me, Crandon is, uh, it's historic, and it's just a place that we always go back to. You know, we risk our own, our own money, our own security, our own health to go wide open at Crandon. And it's cool, we love it, we always go back. I've grown up going there. It's, uh, it's a place I'll go to the day I die. Crandon is very unique in the way they kind of do everything, and it's it's so cool that they can pull it off. I mean, we take all of our race cars, we throw them on the highway, and we drive them into town. And they shut down the town for us. They let us drive through these houses, and the kids are on the porches waving. It's so sick that you're doing it in a Pro 4. You're driving down the street in a Pro 4, going to park on this main street that's normally just a super quiet, desolate road in a small town in Crandon, Wisconsin. Out here at Cran to do 2016 the parade. We're out on the track cutting lap time. These boys are cutting trees down in Crandon. It's fun. It, it's it's pretty epic to sit there with my little boy at the at the parade and really just kind of soak it in. Like you want to experience it and have fun, but you know you just sit there and hang out with him next to your truck and your wife and the team that you're bringing. It's just fun, dude. It's just it, it's Crandon, and there's really no other way to describe it besides fun, exciting, and 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 epic. Racing in general is, is a risky business. Nothing's guaranteed. That's why it's called racing, not winning. It's knowing you're going to Crandon, we're gonna win, that's it. That's why we go. It's a place that we go to risk it all and, and bring our best equipment, our best talent, our best guys, and lay it on the line. And sometimes you win and sometimes you lose. It's that transition of how you take it from going there to risk it all and bringing your family and everybody telling, you know, we're gonna go there to win, we're going to win, and then you don't win. Sometimes that's tragic, you know, but then there's those times when you win it, dude, and it's, you savor those moments because they're so epic and they're so sick and champagne and partying and it's just a magical thing. We go there for fun and to enjoy it, but at the same time we're going for blood. We're going there to win 50 Gs, so there's no joke. We're going back to the track to murder these guys. <laughs> The Crandon International Speedway is, is definitely something that's uh, pretty unique, dude. It's, it's a fast, high-speed track, and, and we're used to fast tracks, but this is a whole nother level. If you're going 100 plus into turn one, a downhill blind right, take an off-ramp at 110 miles an hour behind other drivers getting roosted and hold it wide. It's, it's sketchy. Leading up to our, our Saturday event, we had you know great practice, you know great speed on the track. We were we were flat flying. It was just a matter of getting to turn one first. We did that. Boom! Check that off the list. Fist pump your way through it. Start burning laps, CJ kind of ran me down a little bit. Got about halfway and just uh, didn't have enough for him to really gap him. So I knew it was gonna be a battle. I knew it was gonna be me and CJ and he was playing nice and we were going inside out.
Unfortunately, we lost the motor going through turn one, 100 miles an hour, 8,000 RPM, blew the bottom end right out of the thing. So, pretty big heartbreaker. You know, it was uh, a big race that had a lot on the line. Push your crane in front of 45,000 people, and I blew my motor up. So, from glory to no story, I was sitting on the sidelines. So, pretty bummed, sad day at Crane to not win the world championships. When we blew our engine on the track, it was, it was terrible. It was, it was heartbreaking. All of our friends came around just to see you know, what they could do, contribute to help, and it was, it was absolutely a dead thrash. But so many people came over, so many great friends that came over to help, and just, it's good when you have people that know what they're doing and know what they're touching. So I really thank all those people that came over to help us. Me and Trad, we're, we're trying to start hustling on it, but you know, we just needed more people. As much as it sucked, it was cool to see everybody come together like that, but it was, uh, it was a thrash, and we got it done about 20 minutes early. Sat down, had a nice water, and uh, got ready for the Amzo Cup. The Amzo Cup is a race that started out as the Borg Warner. Um, my father and myself have won that race. Man, it's just an all out, full on battle. There's no cautions, there's no yellow flags, there's no let's try it again, there's no no bumping. It's if you want to win it and get dirty doing it, have at it. We got a check here at the end waiting for you. We had a, a good race, a good chance to win the World Championships, and we lost that. So we're going for redemption, straight up. Going into that race, it was, you know, the Pro 2s get a gap, and you're sitting on that starting line, and you watch them drive away and down through turn one, and you're like, come on, come on, come on, come on, this is too long, this is too long. So I kind of I kind of scrapped with Kincaid for a little bit. And then I fell in line behind Ford and, and it was it was just getting into a groove. I knew I knew we had enough speed to catch him and run him down, I think. I didn't get a chance to. I went through turn one and up off the barn jump, I set the truck too aggressive and landed sideways on the right rear and blew the tire off of him. I mean, it's a major driver error. You know, it's something that I will regret for 10 years <laughs> because I felt that was a year that we had a good shot at winning that thing. So it was uh, a bummer. As soon as I landed, pure anger just came through my whole body and I don't know, there's nothing you can do. <laughs> It's, uh, it's failure. You drove all that way, you did all that work, and we threw it away. The failure we had this year at Crandon will haunt me for 10 years, but if I, if I crush that with victory next year, I'll forget all about what happened this year. <laughs> so I won't stop till we're winning again at Crandon and bringing home checks and drinking out of trophies. So it's a, it's a battle that we will see again. We will bring better equipment. We will not bow down to Crandon. <laughs>